losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Hello. Today I'm going to show you a method to import the hardware IDs of a device or a VM into Autopilot. In one of my other videos I show you one method, this is going to be another method. So first we need to start our VM and it has to be at the OOB stage. So now we're at OOB we need to on this one shift and F10. It might be different on a hardware device as different manufacturers have different ways to get into the UB. And I'll use ICE so I can see, show you the, the commands I need to run. So our first task is to set our execution policy to bypass. And we want to yes to all on that one. Our next script line will be to actually install the Windows Autopilot device info script. We need to select yes on these. doesn't take too long unless you're on a really slow internet connection and our last line for this one will be our last line will be to upload to gather the information and to upload it to autopilot You need to put your name of your tenant in and you also need to, or you can give it a group ID, group tag. If you have that enabled it will automatically put things into groups for you if you've got that set up in autopilot which I will go through later on. For both obviously means it lists out everything it's doing for you and now it will ask you to sign in so we sign into that if you have MFA on it will use that that will now upload the hardware hash directly into Intune for me. Now we need to go to Intune and wait for that to appear. That will shortly appear in here. It will have a group tag which means it will directly import itself into my, my groups. Um, I'll show you how to do that in another video. I'll pause here and show you that once it actually comes into autopilot. what we're actually looking for if you see on this screen we can see the serial number of the device there so we're looking for one in autopilot that starts with 2686 it can take some time to come in here but it will come in as you can see it's now came in 2686 it's got a group tag there <coughs> but it's still showing non assigned now there's another sync going on in the background that will assign this to the group that I've already set up. As I say I'll put that in the in another video and I will put the PowerShell commands I've used in the description of this video for you. I'll come back in a second when that's assigned and I'll show you that part. You can see now it's actually changed to updating so it's actually started to move into the group and to evaluate what policies that group has assigned to it. So as you can see our device has now become assigned. It's become assigned because it has automatically gone into a device group with a policy assigned to it. As you can see there that is the 
the device that it's gone into this group automatically because we set a tag onto the group and I can show you how we do that in another video but basically it's a dynamic device group and uh, as I say I'll show you that in another video if you like the, com the content please subscribe and like and hopefully you'll watch my next video bye